What up, dicks? Welcome back to the channel where we uh, do shit Colts way and we uh, drink bush lattes. Uh, we're going to hit Clyde at the beginning of this video because we're just trying to start it off right today, you know what I'm saying? But uh, today's just going to be a quick little video. Um, I got the, I've always had cloth seats in this old raggedy thing and I put the cat skin, cat, cat skin, whatever you want to, however you say it. I know some of you idiots in the comments are going to tell me how to say things exactly. I don't care. Cat skin leather. I put some in the truck. Uh, everybody's kind of been wanting to see, you know, I guess the quality of it. I mean, hell, it feels like leather to me. So we'll hit, we'll hit Clyde real quick and we'll go look at it. And then, uh, you know, I, to all my new subscribers, what up dicks? <laughs> Welcome. But a lot of y'all come from the, uh, the gun rack video and a lot of people were telling me to, uh, you know, put the bar on top, which when you look online, there is a bunch of pictures of the bar on top, but I guess it depends, you know, you have to put your model, I, I don't know. The bar ain't gonna work on top on my truck, but y'all all know more than me anyway, so I don't really give a damn. But we'll we'll go over that and let you look at it again. And I guess it would work on top, but it'd be just real, real tight. I'm looking at it right now. It'd touch the headliner and I don't want it to rub any of that. But uh, oh, all this son of a bitch does is funnel beer and uh, drink beers. I earned this beer, son. I just got back from the gym. What your fat ass do today besides sit on the couch, dork? Boom, let's roll. Push. Hell yeah. I don't know if anybody, a lot of y'all ain't seen the truck. I'll do a walkthrough one of these days, but I camp and sleep and hunt out of that in the back right there, but that ain't what this video is about. So what we're gonna do is kind of go, cat's skin. I guess it ain't cat skin, but I'm gonna say it cat skin leather. You say it however you want. Uh. I guess I could roll the windows down, maybe get a little bit more light in here. Might help, I don't know. Maybe that's a dumb idea too. I'm, sur I'm sure some of y'all special individuals will tell me. Uh, real quick before the video starts. So you see, I don't have like, I can't even put my finger up in there. So this bar is wider than my finger. So logic would say, if my finger don't fit in there without it hitting the roof, then the bar ain't gonna fit, you know? But I'm sure some people like on the Ford, it comes up and then goes down. You see like, well, you can see I got all this where the headliner's higher and lower. Maybe some vehicles, you know, the headliner, like right where mine is, it comes down right here. Some vehicles probably don't have that. I don't know, I, I got a Ford. I don't know what your vehicle looks like, but anyway, cool story. But so I got the cat skin leather. It feels, I mean, I, I had high country Duramax before this truck and it had the tan leather. I mean, it feels like that. It feels like leather to me. I ain't no leather specialist, but so it's got the little airbag sticker. I'm sure they'd probably have to do that for safety, whatever. My bag, airbag's in there somewhere, I'm sure. I don't know. I ain't an airbag specialist. So you can, when you go, so when you go get your, your leather, you can, like, he, they were trying to get me to get this leather that was all like diamond cut and stuff. And I don't want no bedazzles on my jeans. I don't wear, I don't wear jeans with the, thick thread and the dazzles on it my, that ain't me so i just wanted some plain black leather so i'm not a bedazzled guy but anyways some people probably are so i just i got the black leather with uh the only reason i got the the tan stitching is because this is this this came on the truck right here so uh this is was was a uh, grayish thread so i just wanted to kind of match i'm sure you know that's dirty the truck's four years old so this will probably get dirtier too but it's great it's supposed to match um, so, you know, my truck, it, it came with, um, like the color of my seat belts. So that's what color my seats were. So obviously like all these things, they're still going to stay go on bug. They're still going to stay the same color. You know, they're not gonna be able to change all that. Well, I mean, I don't care. Like my seatbelt thing's gray. I could have got this color leather, but I didn't want that color leather. I just want a black leather, you know, kind of this kind of matches this gray would have matched fine, but I'm dirty all the time. I'm sweat down from either working in the sun at the gym. I got deer blood on me, hog blood. I got, yeah, I do manly stuff. So I'm just always dirty. Not that women don't get dirty, but you know what I'm saying? Like I'm dirty all the time. I don't want no light colored leather cause it's going to stain even sooner, you know? So this leather, it ain't going to stain. And if it does, whatever, I'll just get some more, but sorry, I got the sniffles. Uh, so, you know, I don't know how they put all this stuff on. But I mean, it fits snugly. Um, obviously it's got zippers here. So, you know, 
most of the time, like on all my projects, I pretty much do everything myself. Like I don't like to pay people to do stuff that I can do. And even though I don't know how to do it, I just start doing it and then I'll figure it out halfway through, you know, it, sometimes it costs me more money because I tried to do it myself and if I'd have just brought it somewhere, but you know, you don't learn nothing like that. So I just always try to do stuff myself. But I thought I'd treat myself this time because I had a buddy at work. And he's like super meticulous about his trucks and he put this on himself. He said it took him all weekend. Well, I dropped my truck off at nine in the morning or eight in the morning and they, they had it back to me by one. So like it was worth it. You know, it was, uh, I think it was $1,395 for all the leather. You know, I, I'm a, I don't know what the air, people around your place charge, but here it was $1,395. So, um, but you know, all this is going to stay gray. I, like I said, I could have got the color. This is gray back here. Um, let me move that Bible really quick. Yeah. I carry a Bible in my truck. I believe in the Lord. You know, if you don't bye. well, you don't have to leave. I just don't want to hear it. So I keep all my stuff up under here. You know, this stuff, it, you know, is, uh, the felt colored. I mean, I had felt on the underside anyway, so you can see the zipper. It just comes on and I guess it just zips together, but I got, I got for deer camera batteries, you know, I run a lot of cameras. So this is a belt for my mower. I had to go get a freaking belt. This sucker right here, $142 John Deere belt on a 48 inch zero turn. Are you kidding me? What am I going to do? Not buy it. I got to mow the grass. So toe straps, battery jumper, tire plug, extra water, uh, winch cables, just your everyday dude stuff, gun stuff, two and 16, two and five sixteenths ball right there for my trailer hitch, fire starter. Who cares that this video is about the damn cat skin, but so it feels like leather. The quality's good. I don't really, you know, like when I first picked it up this part, I guess, you know, it's, it was wrinkly all the way down to here. I've had it on like two weeks now, maybe, maybe, maybe about three weeks. And they said after time, it'll, you know, tighten and, and just it, it'll get tighter and it already has. And to be honest, if it stays like that, I really don't give a damn. That looks good to me. You know, it looks good for my house. That's what they always say whenever I'll be working on something up on the power line or something. Well, it looks like crap. Well, it looks good for my house and they got power. <laughs> so, you know, the quality I just think is, is really good. To be honest, um, to be honest, if you were going to go get a truck from the dealer, from the dealership, you wouldn't be able to tell if it wasn't factory leather. The only reason you'd be able to tell is because it has this sticker right here. Now, like I said, I'm sure some of y'all watching are leather experts, you know, <laughs> blows my mind how smart everybody is and how dumb I am, but I'm sure there's, there are some differences, but if you took this cat skin off right here and you didn't know if the truck was a Lariat or an XLT or if the, it was a fake Lariat like me. See, I got an XLT, but I put Lariat badges on there because they're black and I like blacked out stuff. You'd think it was a Lariat and it was factory leather. You wouldn't know the difference. It smells like leather. feels like leather. Um, you know, but all the, all the spots on here, like everything's tight. It's tight. It, it, you know, it feels good. I really don't have any complaints. Um, I know it come in handy last weekend when I was leaving the camp because I was sweat down again and I got in the truck. And the main reason I wanted to get it is because I was leaving, I'm always sweaty. I got in the truck that was freaking soaking wet. And let's just do a little old wet test real quick. We got this latte right here. You see latte. I don't like to waste any of this, but we just do a little bit like, oh damn, I'm all sweat down. What, what should I do? Well, you know, if that was a cloth seat, the sucker would be getting right in there real quick. And, you sit down, look like you pissed your pants for the next day because your seat's wet and you sat on it. But with leather, get these old rags right here that I just carry around with me all the time. And you wipe it off, you ain't got nothing to worry about. And you know, it's a truck. It's gonna, you know, things are gonna happen. Like, it ain't no big deal. Look at this. It's the best part about leather to me. What? What? You know what it looks like. It looks like I, I just conditioned that thing, son. Just got done detailing that and got that leather conditioning on it. Nobody know it was a latte, but if you sat down on your seat when it was cloth, your old ass would be wet. So, well, I'm happy about that right there. It just tickles me. I like that. Sit right on that right now. I ain't got to wake up tomorrow and have, have a wet butt, wet back. I just detailed this sucker. Boy, I tell you what, she's good for another 60. It's a 2018 model, XLT, 60,000, but I keep it clean. Got a lot of factory stuff on it, you know. 
Oh, but I've done a bunch of this truck. You know, I got a five inch factory exhaust right there. That right, that's my favorite part. But um, I don't know, man. Everybody just wanted my opinion on the leather. So I'm gonna give it to you. I mean, I, to be honest, like if you didn't want the extra bells and whistles of a Lariat, you know, I had a high country before this and it had the flip down TV at top, on the top. I mean, it was fully, fully loaded. And I got to this and I missed some of that stuff. Settle down, son. But what I didn't miss was like, I had the, uh, the seats. So it, my seat would vibrate when I went over the line. Well, it kept going out. Like my, my driver, the left side of my driver's side would not vibrate when I go over the line. I kept having to bring it to the dealership for like little bitty things like that. Like, man, you know, so I just felt like the more stuff I had on the truck, the more it was going to break. So this this time I got an XLT and oh yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like I missed the air conditioning seats and stuff, but you know, you can actually get, it was more expensive, but you can get like the perforated uh, seats and he can add a button right here. He just drills through here and wires it, you know, and he can put heated heated seat element right here, or you can even get AC seats, but I don't know. I hate to say this because I've done so much work to this truck and I love it, but I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have this truck. I I might, I'm, I'm let me know what y'all think. I'm wanting to, I'm probably gonna get drugged like when I'm saying this, but I know I'm gonna miss the three quarter ton diesel. I'm gonna miss the diesel. I've, I've got a few options. I, I either wanna get the, uh, pretty much done all I can do to this truck. So I'm trying to grow the channel. And that's not an excuse to buy a new truck. That's a dumb thing to do, but you only live once. So I'm thinking either the F-150 power boost only because like I'm some kind of damn electrician or something, but I, I'm pretty handy with the electrical wiring and stuff like that. And I can do things and I'm wanting to buy some land to maybe build a little off, off grid cabin. And that power boost comes with a 7.2 kW basically generator, you know, and uh, 7.7, 7, 7,200 you know, kilowatts or whatever, you divide 240 by that and you'll get 30 amps. So most air conditioning units, like on my house, it takes about 30 cranking amps. And once it's cranked, it'll go back down to about 17 amps once it's running. But um, if I built a little cabin, you know, I could run AC. You know, a lot of people that tra have travel trailers and stuff, they, uh, they'll they camp all weekend and the generator on, on the truck is silent. Like, it's just, I'll be able to make videos on the on the accessories and then also like, wiring stuff up, running a house in a storm situation. You know, just a lot of extra stuff I can do. It, it, if they ever come out with the power boost in a 250, I'm buying it. Um, so I, I, I'm either thinking the F-150 power boost or um, the GMC AT4X, desert tan color. In the 6.2, I, I don't want to get a diesel in a half ton. Um, I just feel like I'd be disappointed. But I, I, the 6.2 in that, or the EcoBoost, which, which is the power boost F, F-150, it's a hybrid, it's it's a bad dude. I think the only truck stock that'll beat it right now is the, the TRX um, in a race. It, it beat the Raptor too. Um, it beat the Raptor, yeah, it does. Google it, bro. Um, but I just think that having that um, pro power on board it would, would really help me come up with some more content because I'll, I'll, I'll be wiring the hell out of some stuff. I'll put wires in my little shed over here. I don't know. I'll buy some land and build me a little cabin or something and take the wife and kids there for the weekend and not have to, you know, just park my truck all weekend and run the whole cabin off the truck. You can't do that. Yeah, you can. You can do it. Trust me. I, I'm tired of arguing with y'all. Y'all so smart. <laughs> but um, I'm going to miss this truck, man. I've done everything to this truck. I'm, I've got countless hours and, you know, so I don't know. Oh, and the other truck, I'm sorry, just quit rambling like I'm saying goodbye to it right now, you dork. Um, so the GMC AT4X or the Power Boost F-150 or uh, two other trucks or the 7.3 Godzilla in the F-250 only because I, I could move my camper shell over and a few other things and, and it'd get me out of the diesel, which I love the diesel, you know, um, just thinking in my head or a Mega Cab Cummins. And I've always talked crap about uh, Cummins, but my dream truck has always been a Mega Cab Cummins. And I don't know why I didn't get it when I got this truck. Uh, for some reason, I, oh, I want a two inch level, two and a half inch level and run 37s. Well, you can do that on Mega Cab too, stupid. So I got this truck, but, so those are my options. 7.3 Godzilla, 
and a, probably a 350 next time. Well, I mean, get a 250 if it's a 7.3 because the payload will be more because the, the diesel engine ain't going to be weighing it down. So 7.3 Godzilla, uh, GMC AT4X, F-150 Power Boost, or Mega Cab Cummins. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I'm sure you will anyway. You're going to tell me what the best one is. <laughs> I, thought, I love reading the comments, man. Y'all crack me up. I love all y'all. I really do. Um, I, I've tried to make it a point to like write everybody back, but it's, it's getting hard, man. I, I don't like my phone goes off all the time and I can't like, if I don't write you back on your comment, it doesn't mean like, Ooh, I'm not, it just means, man, I'm, I ain't got time, man. It literally goes off all the time and I, I'm thankful for that. I appreciate it, but we're going to have to funnel that too. The sucker's getting warm. We'll funnel that at the end of this video, but you know, it's got your same, a lot of people are asking about these ditty bags right here. It's a, uh, you can get them on Amazon too. Um, I'm pretty sure you can just type in uh, the model number is 5142. They're about that big. Um, I got the little tool bucket ordered for the rear view mirror. I've, I've had one forever, but I don't know, man. I, you know, I, I really feel like the quality of the leather is fine. You know, like it's great. I haven't had any problems with it. This is the only little spot that hasn't fully like stretched out all the way, but it smells like leather. It feels like leather. So far, it's been durable like leather. Shit, it's leather. <laughs> but I did just kind of want to do a quick little video on it. Threw me some red, white, and blue up there. Um, you know, I got to support my my baby right here. I got, I got, oh, where'd she go? I got them everywhere. But uh, that being said, man, I really don't know what else to do about this video. I just kind of, people ask me about the leather. And, you know, I didn't do an install video. I always do my own install videos. I just paid to have this done this time because it was like an extra hardly nothing. So yeah, I'm gonna let him do it, uh, you know, but I've been super happy with the leather. I think it turned out great. Uh, I really do. And the uh, last video, you know, I had to, this old gun right here and everybody tell me, oh, that's, that's gonna fall off. Well, I ain't never had it fall off, you know. I think it's maybe fell off once or twice and that was by my doing. It wasn't, wasn't from hitting bumps or nothing. Oh, you can't leave a gun uns uh, uh, unsecured in the vehicle. Bro, when I get out of the truck, the gun goes in my holster. You see this right here? Oh, my God. It's a holster. Yeah, so I wear the holster all the time. When I sit down in the truck, the gun goes in the magnet. When I get up and get out of the truck, the gun goes in the holster. Inside the waistband, I carry appendix. You know? So the gun ain't staying the night in the truck. And this, you know, if I'm at the camp, the camp's in the middle of nowhere. Ain't nobody stealing my rifle at night at the camp. I hate to tell you this. I mean, I don't know where y'all hunting at, but I hunt in the woods. I don't know where y'all camp's at, downtown Atlanta or something, but my rifle, you know, I said I'm going to get this for mostly hunting season. And everybody want to troll me in the comments. You can't leave a rifle in there. I slept last night in my yard in the, in the house and my truck's unlocked with the key in it. We different around here, son. I don't live in y'all's liberal, liberal cities. So, yeah, mostly the gun just stays in it during hunting season. But you know what? My truck wasn't even locked last night. And if you want to get my address and come find out, I would, I'd suggest against it. That's all I'm going to say about that. But you know what? In the rare case that I do leave my gun in the truck, I don't care if I'm staying at a hotel. The gun comes with me. But if I leave it in the truck, guess what? Well, I'll be damned. I got a freaking safe right here. I got to change those numbers and you can't open it. So all y'all know everything. Like, I'm, you know what? I'm sure some of y'all some locksmiths, so I could get in that safe real fast. You know, <laughs> it's freaking hilarious, man. How smart y'all are. But, you know, the safe's going to deter somebody. I'm sure if I had a freaking Sawzall, which I do, I carry one in my truck because I got just about every tool known to man in my truck that you'll ever need. You know, but by the time I stay in my truck busting through stuff, trying to get through my safe, I'm going to probably hear something. Or, you know what, if they don't, you know, that's what I pay insurance for, dork. You know, I'm going to get my stuff back. I got a real good relationship with my insurance buddy. Ain't like I'm claiming no fraud or nothing, but if my shit gets broken into, I'm going to get all my money back and then some. Pinkies up. Got my other ditty bag right there, same model number, 5142. But, hey, look, just a quick bit. I, I've been... 18 just a quick video yeah 18 minute video about some seats and half it wasn't even about the leather <laughs> but i love it man so far it's been great let me know in the comments about you know 
the next truck I should get and build up for the channel. But uh, we're going to hit Clive one time, put my phone on the... Oh, dang, John Clive Van Dam, I'm fine, son. Woo! Look at that mullet. We're going to hit Clive one time. Then I got to go get on daddy duty. I'm going to pull my little girl around in the yard in her car. But we can't let that beer get warm. We got to hit Clyde real quick. Let me put this sucker on a tripod and we'll start back. Diesel, here. Here. Diesel, here. I got three dogs. My wife has two. Well, we have five all together. We're all, everybody's dogs. But I got, before we got married, I had German short hair pointer and two beagles. Rabbit hunt with the beagles, not really anymore. That little black one that came, he was a stray. I picked him up in the middle of the night in my bucket truck one night in the storm. Diesel, he's a stud. That's Luke. He's a rabbit running fool, son. He's getting old. They're all gray. Diesel's the youngest. My wife has two labs. But, I, you know, my truck on 37s is just sitting up high. Look, look, load up. Dude's a stud for a beagle. Tucker, his old fat butt. Come on, buddy. Oh, Tucky's so fat. He can't even hardly get up. Look, don't knock my phone over, boys. Don't knock the camera over. Just relax. We're going to hit this. Another thing, you know, I love my camera show, but my dogs used to go everywhere with me. And when I got the deck system, it sits up too high. I wouldn't take them in the back because they could fall out the side. So my next build, I don't know if I'm going to do the deck system. I don't know if I'm going to do camper shell. A rooftop tent I might do on, you know, the little support thing. I don't know, but I, I used, my dogs used to always ride with me. It breaks, breaks my heart when I leave and they're staring at me. So we might not put a camper shell on the next one, but we'll see. Tails down, beaks up. But anyway... Appreciate y'all watching the channel. Man, I really do. Tell my new subscribers, man, I appreciate y'all too. Um, this ain't a plug, but you want to support the channel, www.buymealatte.com. You can buy me one latte. I think one latte is $2. You can buy me a six pack, 12 pack, 18 pack, 30 pack, or you can do like a monthly re reoccurring latte. I'm just going to throw that in every video because I built the damn site and it cost me money. So at least get my money back for the site. But look, Appreciate the hell out of y'all watching. Till next time, God bless.